okay, because your eyes are on your head for a purpose to get the best vision in this position here. So in the field as much as possible when the ball is coming to you, try and have your eyes level because that will give you the best view of the ball. Morning legends, it is 6.35 on, what day is it? Monday morning, Monday. it is Monday. Here's our driver. This is the first time we've ever been picked up late and to be honest, it's not the driver's fault. It's because our boys got down early and they took the car from us. Here they are, Abanesh and Waldo. We said to the boys, we're leaving at 6.15. We got, out of, got down to the hotel reception at 6.20. No one to be seen, and I thought, oh, the boys have slept in. But they'd already got in the car and gone to KOC. It's a lot of their last day this today, and they want to be there. They want to be hitting balls all day. We're going to an orphanage this afternoon, so they want to be... Oh, can't close the boot. <clears throat> What's going on here? There we go. We did it. They want to be hitting balls as long as they can, so... They're at KRC this early this morning. Run out with one part. Anything else? Correct. Taking catches is your golden duty. Hey vlog, ten past eight, and this is where we are getting it done. Waldo's over there punching out his business. Will and I are uploading content off our phones and uh, cameras. We're very all very tired. There's Liam. Liam and, Liam and Teague in the background, they've been hitting for an hour this morning, they're having a break, um, resting up. We've had about four or five hours sleep, we were out last night enjoying ourselves with the KRC guys. Integrating, mixing, they had a big win yesterday against one of the best sides, so it was good to celebrate with them. Um, we had the boys talking to some of the Indian ho team hockey coaches who are Aussies. So it was an awesome night, now we're here getting it done this morning. No excuses, you just gotta find a way. Don't you, Waldo? Never tired. Don't you, boys? Never tired. <laughs> so all of a sudden, from her hand position, I would then say to myself, right, I'm going to sit on the inner circle line. I'm going to get into base, basing up. Yes. We call it a power position in Australia. So on the point of contact when she was hitting the ball, I'm in a power position, and I'm basically being able to move laterally as much as I possibly can and cover as much ground. All of a sudden, I see Natalie Raj setting up and her hands don't go back that far. Then I know she's looking for a drop and run. So then on a point of contact from that power position, I need to get as quickly as I possibly can. So a lot of it is about getting as much information as you possibly can to give yourself the opportunity of being going. The other thing I will point out to is, is eye position. Uh, not too many of you guys are driving yet, I hope. But when your parents or people are driving you around, do they drive a car like this? Or do they drive a car like that? They're always driving, I hope they're driving like this. Okay, because your eyes are on your head for a purpose to get the best vision in this position here. So in the field, as much as possible when the ball is coming to you, try and have your eyes level, because that will give you the best view of the ball. Even on side right, so front picture. The ball's coming along here, and I'm ready to go one-handed, and I picked it up. I'm not throwing with my head like this because my view of the stumps is going to be off. So as soon as I get the ball in my hand, I still want to try and get my eyes as level as possible. I can still be low so that I've got the best vision of being able to get the ball as flat and as quickly as possible with the stumps. Okay, so read the play first. Try and get as much information as you can from the pitch, the wicket, the batter, what the bowl is trying to do, what your captain wants you to do. So know your role, role in the field. So if your captain's there to say, just sit on the circle and protect the boundary, do that, okay? If they want you to get in and stay in the single, be ready to get in there, okay? So know your position in the field. Then once you're in that power position, forward, back, up, sideways, try and keep your eyes as little as possible in whatever position, and give yourself the best chance to Fantastic. That was back in playing days, probably probably not so much now these days. So what I'm saying myself is that if 
the bowler what? pitches it up, tosses it up, I've got to be confident enough in my ability to be able to get out on the ball. I do need a full, if not on the half ball. So wherever it is, then I know also that I can play deep and let the ball do what it's doing. Um, so then what I'm trying to defend so is what length ball am I playing back to? So I'm probably saying uh, maybe it's maybe it's here. If anything pitches that side, I'm then back in the crease and working a little bit. So then I go, the bowler is owning all this space. Like that's the space spot for the what am I doing with this? I'm defending, I'm like, I want to be able to score off it. So my my goal then is to slowly decrease this zone. Yep, in whatever way, shape, or form. So that's that was my thinking as a as a famous Hey vlog, I'm here um, Monday midday. We've just had Mel Jones, it's been awesome with her. I've now got another Aussie, um, Narelle Gostre, who is also from the Northern Territory or living in the Northern Territory. She actually grew up um, in the same town as Waldo, but she's now living in Darwin. We've just worked out, we've got some mutual friends, plays baseball for Nightcliff. Um, I used to play cricket when I was younger for Nightcliff, so it's such a small world. Um, we're here in Bangalore. Just starting to, we just met each other, but just starting to um, understand how it all fits in. You're a baseball coach? Yep, so yep. So who do you work with? Um, so I've um, been working with the Australian Women's National Team for about the last six years, yeah, right. um, both on, on the field and off the field. And um, not doing so much locally, but um, last time I played in Darwin, I was playing for Nightcliff. And yeah. why... So when you're coaching with the Australian team, it doesn't matter that you're in Darwin. Where are they all based? Um, they're all we're all around the country. Right. Um, we've uh, we're just about to do a changeover of, of coaching staff, but we've had um, our last World Cup team. Our assistant coach was based in China. Our pitching coach was out of Japan, and our head coach was out of Melbourne. So our players come from Perth, Sydney, Brisbane, Darwin. Right. Um, so we it's just a matter of all getting together at yeah. the right times and using technology to communicate. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So shout out to Jason Bremner, <laughs> former teammate of mine in Nightcliff. Um, we'll have to get in touch with him and get, get in the link of this vlog. And also Tom Clements, yeah, who I grew up with in Alice Springs. Yeah, and I used to work with at Sport and Recreation for Government, yeah, it's it's government. such a small world. I was speaking to someone else last night about it, how just connected we all are um, in the sports space. So lovely to, to meet Narelle, who's a childhood friend of, of Andrew, and uh, th thanks uh, for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks. Nice to see you all. Josh! Hi! Josh! Hi! 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 Hey vlog, it is 1.30. We are heading back from KOC to the hotel to pick up the rest of the team. Got Barbie and Will here. Narelle is in the front. Um, and then we're off to an orphanage. It's gonna hopefully be an amazing experience. A girl's <laughs> refuge. Um, we're not sure what to expect, but obviously going there with an open mind and hopefully we can give back something to these young girls who come from a very underprivileged background. So looking forward to that. Cricket done for the day. We're all pretty wrecked coming to the end of the trip. Uh, we've got most people leaving tonight and the rest of us tomorrow night. So it's been tiring. Uh, last few nights we've been socialising, as I said, and enjoying ourselves with the KROC locals and, and really sort of building relationships with them who will no doubt be lifelong friends for all of us. So um, we're all a bit sleep deprived and tired, but having a great time anyway. And here's our wonderful driver, Mr. Amin, in the front. There he is, the main man. He's been driving us around for the last 10 days. He's a bloody legend. That's been the that's been the funny thing of the trip. The bus horn, Miss Min loves it. You'll you'll tea.
Go out into the road a bit more. Yeah, go there, go there. back of a tuk tuk on the way to have dinner with a few mates uh, an awesome day today great to connect with Mel Jones who's an absolute legend she's a superstar in the sport was as a player now is as a commentator she's very dedicated hardworking and she gets it done um, and then amazing afternoon going and seeing some of the good girls orphanage connecting with them um, learning it just went over a big bump learning a bit more about the culture and background and how hard some people have it here in India. It's absolute carnage on the roads, but I love riding the Tuk Tuk. It's, it's real. It's getting the fresh air. It's awesome. So I'm going to sign off there, guys. It's 9.30. Everything happens late in India. Meeting a couple of boys who are playing in the IPL tomorrow night. Um, so they probably had, excuse the horns, they probably had training. Uh, all right, we're here already. Did you sit here? Looks like we might not. I don't know what we're doing, but driver's having a word. Um, yeah, great day. I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to eat some dinner with the boys and then another early start tomorrow. Last day, last day tomorrow. Very sad. It's coming to an end, but I'm also looking forward to getting home for only one night, seeing the family, resting, getting some strength back, getting my health back in order, and uh, then getting over to the UK. Right. What's going on here? So I have a stop for a conversation, all good. We're back on the road now. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, legends. Please like, comment, share. Help us grow our channel. We're trying to produce content. We're trying to help figures around the world. So give it some love and I will see you again soon. Cheers, legends. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy life to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got some value, please subscribe below, hit subscribe. To our channel we, we try and publish some really interesting and valuable content for you guys so subscribe if you haven't done so already check out our next two videos here below make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications and join the cm community by purchasing some merchandise link is in the description below thanks legends now go out and get it done